Diazani Alison Madrickley, Minister of Petroleum Resources, Nigeria. And we've just come out of a panel, a very interesting panel with Ban Ki moon, uh, where we discuss the issue of ending energy poverty. And the obvious core principle of that is ensuring that um, in all countries, um, we are able to provide access um, to energy, uh, different types and different forms, but to provide access to energy um, for everyone over a given period of time. And while all our economies strive to do this, here in Nigeria, we are trying to get from the average 5,000 megawatts to 10 and then to 15,000 and so on and so forth over a number of years. Of course, in the oil and gas sector, we are working very hard to ensure that we have sustainable supplies of gas to do that. But while that is being put in place, as I said in the panel, I think it is very important, particularly in developing economies, that we bring our hydrocarbon resources to bear on the real economy and the commercialization of those resources for the people of the country as a whole. So it is critical that we do the sort of things that we are putting in place at this point in time. The commercialization of gas, ensuring that gas begins to be used for feedstock and not just for fuel as it has been traditionally used, but for power generation. Ensuring that with our gas, we can begin to create industries that will create major jobs and employment for many of our citizens. So we have put in place the industrial revolution for gas, and we have created um, an industrialization program where over the next four years, we will be building a major petrochemical plant Major, two major fertilizer plants, five discrete blending plants, an LPG distribution plant, and a methanol plant. This means that Nigeria will come to regional for gas based industrializations and the products of that. But it also means that capacity building will be taken to a full time high and that the number of jobs that we will create would never have been seen before in the oil and gas sector, which is normally very highly capital intensive and very highly technological. But you also heard about the Nigerian Content Act, which was promulgated into law by Mr. President in 2010. In the one and a half years or so since it has been um, in big, that act has ensured that so many Nigerians have been able uh, to get first consideration in the downstream service sector of the oil and gas industry. It means that over the next five years, we will be keeping in country at least 10 of the 20 billion dollars that was going out of the country annually to bring in service components for the oil and gas industry. So as we speak, fabrication yards, pipe mills, pipe mill laying, um, fabrication, dockyards, and other areas of the service sector, creating components for the service sector are springing up in Nigeria. Nigerians at all levels of the service sector supplies are setting up indigenous businesses to come into the downstream service sector of the oil and gas industry, which is also a first for us. I think that Beyond that and beyond the expanse um, of what we are doing in the gas sector with our gas-based industries, we are trying to ensure that we support indigenous operators to begin to take their rightful place in the oil and gas sector. And I would like to think that Nigeria over the next five years uh, will, with the various enablers that we are putting in place for investors across the board, both in downstream, midstream, and upstream, uh, to come in and partner with our indigenous marketers and operators, that it will begin to be not only the destination of choice for the oil and gas sector, but that our oil and gas sector will become much more creative and a much more exciting place for all Nigerians, but above all, that it will begin to create the quantum of jobs 
that it needs to create for the economy.